All right, so we're up here, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we're up here in my second least favorite place uh, that I know of <laughs> at our house to work on. So the attic is obviously no fun, it's just insulation. Everywhere I spent enough time up here. Over the years, updating stuff, I'll be honest, my least favorite place is actually back up in there. That is a roughly two foot by two foot by, I don't know, probably 10, 15 foot slide on your back to slide along. Uh, it is, on top of sheetrock and yes in the corner you can see right in the middle of that there's a junction box that is open has no cover and for whatever reason the previous owner uh whoever wired this place left it like that and i have yet to fix it i should do it yes i know all right so uh this morning we had the hvac crew here and they upgraded our uh air conditioning um and said did you have air conditioning yes we did and this was the heart of it so uh, you'll see kind of what we did, uh, what we upgraded to, and hopefully is an upgrade. So what I'm working on is getting rid of this. So what I've done so far is um, this is the line uh, that goes down to the, kind of goes, you can kind of see it snakes way the heck over there, and then goes down, down the wall, goes down over here, and then <clears throat> goes out to the compressor. So disconnected that. Uh, this is, I had a wrench that fit that. I had a sawzall that would cut that. So, and uh, pliers to cut that. So that's out of the way, and I think I'm going to probably try to pull it out. And there's, I think that's all copper, and that might be worth saving. Uh, this is the PVC line that runs. That's the condensation line. You can see that runs out that way. And it, they, <clears throat> when they installed it, they basically just drilled a hole in the fascia and the gutter. And it, it's kind of clean, but now I got to figure out how I'm going to plug the gutter, <laughs> plug this gutter wall, I guess, because I really don't want rats and mice and other vermin climbing up in here. So uh, this big hole here, you can see there's a bunch of screw holes there so i just had oops a bunch of these little quarter inch jobbers that were just kind of basically sheetrock screws not sheetrock sheet metal screws all zipped in there and um let's see if i got that other plate up here someplace um uh, basically all everything um went in right through here um and so that's kind of if that means anything but i'm more interested in uh the date right there may 91 which convinces me it's time it was time to upgrade um so all i did was i pulled this plate off and this was inside so basically uh this thing and let's see if i can uh that can work no nope, i can't do that uh, so basically this just sits in here. It's, this is the back side of it. So uh, I can flip this around. So this is the front side. Um, so these are all the lines. So this is what got cut off of that. And I, you know, the knot that I showed you there and I cut that piece off. So basically this thing just sits in here like a little teepee. So one radiator would be here, one radiator would be here. I don't know, air exchange, I'm not sure what the right word is for it. Uh, you see the squirrel cage fan. And literally, like, this is a 2x6, I believe. Yep, that's a 2x6. So that's the ceiling. So there's a 2x6. And then there's this, which is basically the reason why we got rid of it. Because uh, if you can see, I don't know how well, can get that down there. But basically, this fan... That squirrel cage fan is just way, it was really just way too close to, way too close to life. I think that's probably the best way of putting it. Um, and so what would happen was the squirrel cage fan, just like any uh, furnace blower, uh, would be sending air up this way. And as it would go, so the air would come up and it would go up in, basically up in through there and would go through both sides, hopefully evenly. Uh, you can kind of see that it went through the backside more because it's kind of an interesting curve, right? Um, you, can see the, kind of the, oops. you can kind of see the curve goes this way, not straight, but kind of curves that way, which would make sense because the blower is kicking air up and probably if it continues, well, I guess air, once it leaves, it would go tangentially, but whatever. So <clears throat> air would uh, come up. Um, up basically up through here and out that so everything that went through this side would go through this would be master bedroom bathroom and uh girls bedroom and this one would go up and over to that 
over here, which would be actually the downstairs. And then there's another one way back there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get another light. There you go. I uh, can see that wad over here, kind of like right there. That would go the other downstairs. So basically you had four coming out to one side and then these all over here basically did kitchen, living room, etc. So I'm uh, hoping to get this thing out of here in a minute. Um, there's pizza downstairs and I'm really getting kind of hungry. Uh, one thing I'm going to kind of take note of is this is kind of insulated, which this thing did you know, it's not, I don't know, it's sweat a little bit. There's some watermarks here. There was some condensation that didn't make it in the tray and go out the condensation line. Uh, that little pipe there is just uh, just a regular electrical conduit. Uh, this went to the switch. I don't know what that did. This went to the, um, sorry, I itched my nose. Uh, this one here was connected to that little wire there, and that goes down to the... Uh, thermostat. So hopefully I didn't screw up the thermostat downstairs. I think as long as the thermostat is set to heat, they'll still run the furnace. Um, and also, I don't know how well this will show up in here. Let's bring this light in here. But basically, uh, which I thought was kind of interesting, it's a bolt head, but it's like a little weld, a little tack weld there, and, and uh, same thing right there. So I just got to more of a mental note for myself to not worry about that but i think it's just kind of interesting they basically made a box punched a bunch of holes in it uh looks like right here they were thinking about putting another one someplace i'm kind of curious if that one was supposed to go they were gonna right this area and they're seeing this corner of the house would be the living room so maybe they're planning on running two out there i don't know um but anyway uh that's kind of our quick update of what's going on with this part kind of a new adventure it's not something that i really like doing and honestly i just want to get out of this miserable attic and you know whatever i gotta get out of here so anyway that's kind of first part and uh, i'll see what else comes up with this thanks